Fighting Team Tower Descent faces our competitors here today, as we're just gonna keep going up and up and up, and there we are! The Team Tower Descent, everybody. Hello, everybody, I'm the Emperor, and this is gonna be a new event this year that is going to await our competitors today, and some of the fans from the stands are gonna get in on the action on this one. They're going to be right next to the tower base. So basically how it's gonna work is there's gonna be four heats of four, and you're going to be scored on when your marbles cross the line. So the first marble to make it out is in last. So you, it's like Final Endurance. You do want to stay in the longest. But currently it looks like the Blue Moons have three up there. Now they're down to one. It's the Rainbows up top. But, so you're going to want to stay in the longest. The last marble to cross the line is going to get 16 points. And at the end, all four team members' scores will be added up. And that will get the final team scores in the top two teams. We'll move on. The Blue Moon had three in the top. Now they've got three in the bottom. The last people dropped these first, though. There goes a moon. There goes a Blue Moon. They're going to get three in a row, and they will! The Blue Moon, that's disastrous. They're going to need a great recovery from this final one, and even then, it might not be enough. Two Valley Vanilla is circling with two Galactics right now, and the Blue Moons do have one remaining. And there goes another Galactic. And Nova now, the only one left. Nova will get 15 points, it looks like. And let's see which blue moon this is. Eclipse will put up 16, but it's not going to be enough. By one point, they fall short of Team Galactic. And the Valiant Vanillas are moving on with Galactic. Balls of Fire, the Aquatics, the Moonlight Titans, and the Golden Lynxes now. There we go. And it is the... Moonlight Titans are the last ones into that blue funnel right there. They've still got two up there. They're the only ones to do so. The Aquatics down there. They've got two. Moonlight Titans drop a couple through, and it's Fire Blast shaking them through, holding the lead for our host, Balls of Fire. Balls of Fire's got two medals in these games so far, a gold and a silver. And the Aquatics are desperately trying to avoid falling in first, but they're fighting among themselves, and that's not going to help both of them. Two Aquatics for the first two marbles, followed by two Balls of Fire! There's a Moonlight Titan, the Golden Lynx has dropped two. The Moonlight Titans are positioning themselves pretty well, it looks like. They've got another one left. They've got another! So the Moonlight Titans have two of the top four, they've got two of the top three, and if Fire Blast falls on through, the Moonlight Titans will take the top two! And that basically, I think that has to guarantee advancement for them. Let's see what their final score is. And that is 46! That's a new best! They beat the Golden Lynxes, who beat Balls of Fire, who beat the Aquatics. So the Golden Lynxes will be moving on with the Moonlight Titans, our hosts, though knocked out. True Blue, Chili Cat's Eyes, Bronze Tigers, and the Time Warpers now. And, oh! Oh, one of the Time Warpers has gotten stuck! They're not gonna, they're not gonna get dislodged there! They're stuck on that bridge! And I think that's gonna be done as a zero! for Black Hole, the captain of the Time Warpers. Not good for them. They're already, as you know, struggling tremendously until every little point can count for them on their journey to attempt to get out of last place. Meanwhile, we have some in the final funnel already. Two True Blue, Yellow Eye, two Tigers, now Red Eye and Green Eye join them. And it looks like we have our first finisher. And Bronze Tigers, they've got a couple down. Two Blue, there goes the second Chili Cat's Eyes. Tigers, the Time Warpers are actually recovering nicely. They've just lost two, as I say that commentator's curse. Red Eye goes on through, followed by Cyanide. The Chili Cat's Eyes are the first team done. There goes the Time Warpers, True Blue, and the Bronze Tigers each have one remaining. And the Captain Tiggy falls on through next. Right behind the True Blue Captain. And True Blue's final member gonna drop on through now, I believe that is Blue. But yeah, not good for Black Hole, the Time Warper's captain, putting up a zero. That's gonna rob- Oh, that one point would have made the difference too! Instead, the Chili Cat's Eyes advance, and the Time Warpers get last of the heat. Oh, that was a close one. Greenies, flamethrowers, blueberry buttons, and the stingers now, so there's some difficulty in the starting eight, and it's flopping on in there. <laughs> the Greenies are championship leaders by the tune of 25 points, meaning they are a gold medal ahead, and will be over the Valiant Manilas on countback no matter what. So, they're gonna lead this event, no matter how they fare, although it's not looking great so far. They've got 
two, three of them shaking down. There go two blueberry buttons, though. There's two, two stingers, it looks like. It's a bit hard to tell if I'm in the flame so but there goes one of them. Uh, the greeny blueberry buttons. Another greeny. Another greeny. The stingers again. The flamethrowers are positioning themselves really well. That's, they've just lost two now. Did we lose a couple of marbles? Because this one looks like we do not have all 16 finishers. Let's see. Oh, look at this! We have a log jam! Green has gotten stuck and has blocked the gate. The referees are going to come together to discuss this and investigate the track. It looks like the referees have determined there was no track defect involved in this, and Green stopped all of their competitors. They're going to give Green a minus five penalty, and that puts the Greenies in last. Flamethrowers move on, along with the Stingers, but the Greenies are in last in the heat and the event. The championship leaders have been knocked out. They're still going to lead the championship. But this could be huge for the Valley Vanillas who are in this heat, along with the chili cat size. And it looks like the Stinger. And the Valley Vanillas have three up top now. Now down to two. Now down to one. But this is. This could be disastrous for the Greenies in the long run. The Valley Vanillas are positioning themselves well. And the Golden Lynxes have a couple down there. Those yellow eyes, red eyes, and one of the Valiant Vanillas. And there goes our first finisher, followed by a Valiant Vanilla. Then the flank Golden Lynxes, excuse me, not the flank those. The Chili Cat Eyes have dropped three now. And that's probably the end of their run. But the Valiant Vanillas still have two going strong. Down to just one now. It looks like it's going to be down to Dumb and the Stingers, and the Stingers are going to win with the highest marble. Let's we'll see what the final scores are, though. This could be close. And if the Valiant Vanillas move on, a gold medal could tie the overall standing. And we will move on. 38. Stingers get 40, and that rivalry again going to meet head-to-head -head in the final. We got our second semi-final now with Galactic, the Moonlight Titans, True Blue, and the Flamethrowers. Three of these teams are in very well in string camp championship contention there, excuse me. <laughs> Minced my words. And then there's True Blue, who's looking for their first medal of the season still. They're the only team without a medal, and still are doing rather well for that, I'd say. They're in the middle of the pack, and they have the top marble right now. That might be blue again. Galactic, meanwhile, dropping like a stone. They get the first three marbles into the final funnel. Not good for our former championship leaders. They've dropped out in the middle of the season, and they're now trying to stay in third place. They're in fourth, actually, my bad. And they're not going to do so, it looks like. They got the first two and the fifth. Now, True Blue's falling off a little bit, as are the Flamethrowers. The Moonlight Titans, meanwhile, are coasting to a victory here, it looks like. Galactic does have one left, and they're going to be fighting with two Moonlight Titans members, but I don't think that's going to be enough for Galactic. A 16, 1, 2, and a 5, I think. Yeah, that's not great. Once again, Nova, the final member for Galactic, is going to score two-thirds of their points. They're not moving on, but the Moonlight Titans and Flamethrowers are, and both of them are still in prime championship contention. So this final has three teams in championship contention, and the Stingers, who have been eliminated already. But here we go! Who will win the 14th goal of the season? The Team Tower Descent. Might have to excuse my commentary on the Stingers marble with the uh, Flamethrowers and Moonlight Titans, honestly. <laughs> Very confusing. Meanwhile, it's not confusing. The Valiant Vanillas are still doing tremendous in this event, and they could very well tie that overall standing with the Greenies. Just two events to go. We have our first marbles into the final funnel, and so far only one Valiant Vanilla out of about seven or eight, I'd say. As I say that, another one joins us. The Flamethrowers are the first two down, and we saw with Galactic that was not good, and the Flamethrowers have dropped the third in, followed by the Stingers. The Valiant Vanillas are still holding strong. Can they do it? They've lost three now, and it looks like the Moonlight Titans may be giving them a run for their money. Flamethrowers are going to, it looks like, pull Galactic Strategy from the last event, and we saw that didn't, not last event, last round, that did not work out. They're going to get the first, the second, I think the fifth again, and the last, and that's not going to be enough. Is it going to be the Titans or Vanillas who wins gold? And it's the Moonlight Titans for their third gold medal of the season. 
The Valiant Vanillas will have to settle for a silver. They'll sure be happy about that. But to think they could have tied the Greenies. The Moonlight Titans deny them. And the Stingers win the bronze over the Flamethrowers. Moonlight Titans fans going crazy. The team going over and saluting them. And they've been through it all this season. After losing their captain to an injury for the remainder of the season. In the Towering Inferno. Artemis has stepped into the lead and captured the fourth medal of the season above the Valiant Vanillas and the Stingers, and they're going crazy right now. And what will this do to the overall standings? The Greenies will hold the lead by five points over the Valiant Vanillas, the Flamethrowers hold third, the Moonlight Titans jump Galactic for fourth, and we still have nine teams in championship contention with just two events to go. On the bottom end of the spectrum, We've got four teams who can still podium but can't win, from True Blue to the Stingers, and the bottom three have been eliminated, including our Season 2 champion, the Blueberry Button, who have joined the Rainbows and the Time Warriors. And we'll see you all next time at Bowling.